It's a good thing the designers of this security system enables guards to easily delete footage by double tapping this button. Sirs, you made it! <gasps> I was wrong to suggest separating. How could you know what it was? I see you remain suspicious of me, detective. It's a smart business move for this secret murder organization to diversify into branded soft drinks. This is all we get? Hey, I think it would be cool if we started a TikTok challenge. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, that's okay. Just don't do it again. Ah! Why would you do that to me? Don't do it again. I won't. Hey! Yeah, you should be sorry. Don't f***ing do it again. Shut your mouth and grab an egg. I didn't get anything. Where's the rest? Can't You'll get, get nothing and like it. Five meals are missing, sir. It was them. They skipped the line and got seconds. I saw it. Remember, snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Who do you think you are? That's my food you just ate. But if you must come at me, come at me, bro. Really? This grande guy is going to take on the gang of thugs? I don't think so. I can't tell if we're supposed to root for these people. I wish they would spell it out for us. I see nothing. No, I didn't think so. You see, Pino, this is a respectable business. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's gone. Uh, hello, guards? Here's Gi Hun again being shocked and outraged as someone died during the evil murder games. What did you think was going to happen? What did you think was happening? Not this! Player 271 eliminated. Game on, everybody. Game on. God, this job sucks. I'm telling you guys, we need to unionize like Amazon workers. Okay, this is the square manager mask that Jun Ho, aka Jason Bourne, stole in the last episode. But where was he hiding it? Did he pull it out of his pocket? When I get it, when I pull it out of the fucking air? You can pull it out of wherever you want to. Sure, I just pull it out of my ass, right? You there. Why aren't you doing your job? You talking to me? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of service? Did you forget the rules? You do not speak unless your superior allows you to. I'm gonna have to write you up. Man, I hate this f***ing job. This whole secret organ harvesting operation is so ridiculous, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, for a secret murder organization that tightly controls workers and players with head counts and security cameras and scanners everywhere, they seem to have the worst security protocols ever. Workers, and even players, can somehow sneak away for hours undetected. And apparently the whole plan relies on recruiting a surgeon who's also a player that could be killed at any minute and is live for a maximum of a week, even if he gets to the last game. Even with insider information, the doctor can be killed at any time like during red light, green light, or marbles, or even get shanked in his sleep. And how many operations can he possibly do by sneaking away for a few hours? There's cameras everywhere, but not inside the basement or even at the secret emergency exit scuba site. How do they secretly build a remote control trap door under one of those ovens with all the cameras in the cremation room? What if another worker got there first and was using your special oven? The worker is able to slip away for hours at the end of the shift conveniently because they turn off the lights right at the end of the shift? With all the cameras and headcounts, how do the workers slip back inside the rooms undetected? And the doctor disappears for hours and no one notices? And apparently they only use players that are still alive, but wouldn't they suffocate within minutes after nailing the coffins shut? And then they said it was a problem that one of them was still alive, so they had to kill them. So are they supposed to be dead or alive? Also, I don't think you can viably store human organs in saline solution with a couple freezer packs. And since the organization is just burning up bodies anyway, why did they ever think of harvesting organs as a good revenue stream? Apparently a front man doesn't even care about it. Someone could have suggested it in a meeting, got promoted as chief organ harvester. The next game, what is it? Instead of slipping him a cryptic message inside his egg, why don't you just explain to him in detail since you're hanging out with him for hours? Worry about that after you've survived the night. Fighting will break out. We gave you less food on purpose to make you all fight each other. Go back to the players. Find a way to live. Way to live? 
Thanks for the advice. Steady, my friend. Just stay alive. Yeah. Thanks for the advice, dicks. Let me join. Yeah, this looks like a trustworthy team that would have my back and wouldn't bludgeon me to death in my sleep. Tell us, what are you good at? I'm a doctor out there. So? You gonna come give me a shot if I get sick? <laughs> <laughs> One operation later. Outside, I'll be able to treat it at the hospital, okay? Outside? Obviously, they're not both getting out of there alive. This is why everyone says you really should have a doctor in your family. <laughs> Gee, I guess I was wrong. Go sit somewhere in a corner, come lights out. Don't breathe or make a noise. If I hear you breathe, then I'll come for you. You're really good looking. <laughs> You're really good looking. I hope you do come for me, big boy. Snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. Do it. So the plan is to have them all fight and kill each other during Lights Out? Doesn't this defeat the whole point of the games? And I thought they were all about equality. How is getting stabbed in your sleep fair play? What if you have bad night vision or an epileptic strobe seizure? I suppose these metal rods came from the disassembled bed frames. But have you ever tried to disassemble an IKEA bed frame without the right tools? It's damn near impossible. Did someone smuggle in an Allen wrench inside their butt? Oh now, look at Ali swinging this metal construction beam around. Did he smuggle that inside his butt? Now I'm wondering what other weapons we're going to see inside there. Let's go. All of you, stop this. I, I, I'm scared. How did everyone even hear the old man talking from the top bunk with all the screaming? Doesn't seem too safe. He could have easily been knocked down from the top bunk and killed. I really don't think they thought this through very well. When did Jun Ho order an LED light from eBay and install it inside his mask so we can conveniently see his eyes even though it totally makes him stand out as an infiltrator as well as somehow makes him able to see more clearly? Player 456. Is there a man named Huang Yino here? How the f do I know? Eliminated. Player 206, eliminated. I have some regrets. Oh, it's not so fun killing when your butt is on the line, huh, Grandpa? Nobody here got hurt, so that's good. And where are you from? Pakistan. Pakistan? Where's that? Are you a moron? North of India. He's right. Of course he is. This man here went to SNU for this. Would you please shut up? Kong Sebyok. Sebyok? That's a pretty name. Though I'm not sure how well it fits. Hey, f off. I will not f off. And what is your name, sir, if you don't mind? My name? Oh, let me think. Hold on. I can't remember anything that happened before two weeks ago. That means we killed 27? Right, old man? Old man? <laughs> gonna call me I swear this show is sexist He's and ageist in the weirdest ways. Oh, yeah? Tell me, how old do I look? 49. Ooh! Ouch! Very ouch. Old man, one more chance. Uh, 19. Bingo. Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs> Okay, uh, Toxic Love, a haiku. It's a haiku, an early tweet. It's not a haiku, there's not enough syllables. Morse code? How about tapping in Morse code instead of coughing? I think he's sending a message in Morse code. Hey, old man. Huh? Did you stay up all night? Why do you assume he was awake all night just because he's awake now? You don't really need that much sleep when you're old.
Flashback. Sir, wake up. Wake up, sir. Sorry, but you really can't go to sleep after lights out. Understand? Why? No guardrails on this random stairway? Seems like an untapped opportunity for more casual homicide. I'd like to talk to you both about a good opportunity for you and your loved ones. Please divide yourselves into teams of 10 people. What are you thinking? Our team already has a girl and an older guy. I'm thinking we better get more men first. When it really comes down to it, usually men are better. Come join our then, sir. So... I can't join unless she does too. Oh, I'm sorry. Our team already has too many girls. What about you? Who brought you here? Her. I said to bring only men back here, didn't I? You're a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. That is a very sexist way to talk about these bitches. I don't get it. Come on, you're just joking. My team's full. I'm sorry. Babe, I swear I'll do better. I I'm good at everything. You know that's true. Just listen, okay? I need you. Oh, man, can't you see that? Get up! Nonetheless, there is no question that it is well-deserved. All you did was trust the wrong guy. God damn you, scumbag. Hmm. You betrayed me. You're dead now, got that? One day you're gonna get yours. You're gonna get yours. Well, nobody kicked me out, huh? I'll play with you as a special deal here, okay? Yikes. I'll be way more help than either of these wimpy little girls. Plus, I'm good at everything except the things that I can't do. <laughs> we don't want nothing to do with that crazy bitch. <sighs> Today's game is Tug of War. Wow, it's a good thing there were exactly the right number of players in multiples of 10 for Tug of War. Wouldn't their momentum immediately pull the other team down too? You're marking a black casket with blood? I don't think that'll work unless it's some kind of special expanding bold blood font. One hour later. Oh nice. <laughs> oh man, I was looking forward to killing you guys. <laughs> Why not right now? Here's another opportunity to kill players according to the rules of fair play. You had your chance. And you blew it! You had your chance, okay? All you need is a good strategy in tug of war. You'll be able to win when you are against stronger teams. When I was young, we always liked tug of war. And back then, I would always win. Always? So the old man is the Michael Jordan of tug of war team. with just one and weird trick? See, that's so impressive. First off, having a good leader is very important. The person is at the front and the rest of the team focuses on the back of their leader's head. How are the other nine all supposed to see the back of the leader's head unless he's seven foot tall? At the end of the road, you need to have someone strong and dependable like the anchor of a ship. And ideally missing a couple fingers. After that, it's all about how you arrange the rest of your team. If one player is on the right side of the rope, then the next one should be on the left, all the way down the rope. Finally, and this is absolutely the most important thing, you should lean back, practically lie down, and throw your head back to the point where you can almost see the groin of the person behind you. Right, and what will happen if I plant a heel in his groin? No one including himself, is leaning all the way back and looking at some rear groin. How are all the people behind him able to hear him? Well, that was only part one. It's a cliffhanger. 